All right, so um, recently I also made a purchase, um, just like uh, my buddies from the previous video that we have, that we linked together. I made a purchase at Toys R Us. And this is an actual unboxing of a brand new uh, Sky Viper. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, break the seals. Take one of these babies out. Uh, according to this, I mean, it has automatic launch, which we also saw in the video, HD recording, 1080p, brushless motors. And as you, you guys saw earlier, uh, the performance of it, I mean, we were very impressed. As far as what you get in the box, you get the controls, so on and so forth. Um, but that's not what really we're interested, unfortunately, about this unit. Um, it comes very nicely organized. That box is just to uh, keep everything nice. So in here, it's uh, the drone. Actually, no. Correction. We got the control, the propellers, and everything like that. And this is a brand new drum. Tells you the attention to you'll have to go ahead and log in, uh, download the app, which is the app that we were using. Um, but this is what we're here to test out. Now, unfortunately, This is the radio that actually produces a bad signal. Not a bad signal, but a signal that actually interferes with what this drone says. Now this drone says that the Wi-Fi is actually, uh, uses Wi-Fi to actually transmit uh, the video transmission, the feedback of the battery. Um, and that's fantastic as far as the radio, radio frequency emits a 2.4 uh, gigahertz uh, signal. But on the back of here, there's an FCC ID FCC ID, that means it went through certain testing and it says that it has to comply uh, where it says this device complies with part 15 of the FCC rules. What is the FCC rule? At first, honestly, we weren't interested in that. We were actually interested in flying this uh, wonderful piece as we were upgrading. We tried out the M500, uh, the little mini nano uh, micro drone, and we had a lot of fun with it. And, you know, my friend and myself, uh, really wanted to invest on something nice of professional grade and when we saw the videos on this everything else that's on YouTube I mean, it's fantastic. It has great reviews But as we read we actually now look into this piece a little bit more serious because of what we're facing with We're facing with flyaways when a Bluetooth connection connects to the um, To the actual radio transmitter now as far as the FCC part 15 it states that this device may not cause harmful interference and part two says that this device must accept any interference received, including interference that may cause undesired operation. And undesired operation is exactly what, unfortunately, what we face with today. We lost a drone. We lost two, almost $250. Uh, that's uh, roughly the price that these are selling for as of today's date when this video is uploaded. Um, you give and take whether you get a price match or not. Uh, but the point is, you know, you work hard for your money and you definitely don't want to buy something that's going to interfere, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and add some batteries into this. Uh, the control takes uh, AA batteries. Uh, I'm personally using some Duracell Pros, uh, excellent batteries.
And the next piece is actually the most uh, frightening piece out of this whole thing. I was actually excited when I purchased this uh, from Toys R Us just yesterday. But after experiencing what we had earlier today and, and tonight, we were just trying to record just the basic sunset uh, of the evening and so on and so forth. Just, just to capture it on video, you know, get it from a different perspective and a different angle. But unfortunately, this is what we're having. So just to further go ahead and, and prove the point of what's happening is the following. So I'm basically logging in, uh, connecting Bluetooth once again. Once I connect Bluetooth, I'm gonna go to the Bluetooth settings on a basic phone. And as you can see, currently on my menu, I only have paired devices, my GoPro that I had at home. Um, as far as that, you can go ahead and come a little bit closer so we can get a better shot at this because this is actually uh, the biggest incident that we have with this wonderful unit that, you know, we were really looking forward to what we were going to have. So I'm going to go ahead and scan. And as you can see, as I'm scanning, nothing else comes through. But as soon as, as soon as I go ahead and power up this unit, now that I have that signal, I'm going to go ahead and start to scan again. And there's that Pro 1. And that Pro 1, once you're flying, roughly about, I'll say, 150 to 250 feet, you're supposed to be able to fly easy over 300 to 400 feet. But unfortunately, the second it pairs, and I click on that, it says pairing, and now it's paired to this control. And that's what's causing uh, some of the losses of our flyaways. And now, now we don't have a drone, and we're hoping that Sky Viper can actually correct that issue. So thank you very much for watching, and we hope that this takes care of that issue. As soon as I go ahead and turn off the control, and I go ahead and stop, and I do the rescan again, it's no longer there. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpair the device, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the scan again, and now that unit, since the unit is off, it's no longer logging to Pro 1.